peeing on people. What the f Yo, you out here giving golden showers? If you can whoop it out and just spraying on you, that is ridiculous. Oh my god, she gets me. She gets me, bro. She gets me, bro. Yo, god damn. God damn. Turn around up on me, good luck, Charlie. We rack our eye, roll him up in the mall. He walk in the spot, I know life of the park. 1942, cost amigo my body. Whoa. I'm very into the kink community, so. Okay. Tying people up, clamps. The kink community, the kink, the kink community? Y'all niggas got a community for every goddamn thing. What the fuck she like to do? Let me hear this shit. Being on people. What she said? So, okay. Tying people up, clamps, being on people. <laughs> So, okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. What the fuck? Yo, you out here giving golden showers? But that's some Prince, that's some Prince Dubai shit when they give you $20,000 to take a shit on bitches. Like, bro, this, wait, hold on, hold on, I forgot. This is not, this is not streaming. This is YouTube. I got a sense of what I'm saying. <laughs> Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Never. Never chat would you why can't you say chat? I'm not a streamer anymore. I'm not, uh, I, uh, bro, I can't lie, bro. If you can sit under a bitch while she squat and piss on you, bro, there's something wrong with you. And as a lady, if a nigga can whoop it out and start spraying on you, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Now some might say squirt is pee. I don't agree. I don't even like getting squirted on my legs and squirt, but that's neither here or there. Welcome to the button. Welcome to the button. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and okay. swap out their date for a new person. Okay. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. Okay. The button. Hello. That's a crazy ass wig. What you think they into? I'm not gonna lie, I got some deadly ass farts. But farting during sex as a kink, like when you fucking, when you. Like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, that was, that's, that's the gross misrepresentation. <laughs> you fart, did you say? Not regularly. She got a gap, you know she sucked dick good. I was very, I was terribly nervous. Okay. okay. I just farted out of nervousness. And when you, so when you nervous, Around a bitch, you just start farting, you just start stinking it up. How did that even end? There's really no coming back from that. It was over, like she got. What do you keep looking for in a relationship right now? Hmm. I mean, I, I was like. Damn, she's giving immaculate eye content. Like, her eye does not get off this nigga uh, face, right? First of all, I would have shut her the fuck up right then and there. You, you, I keep looking over here. My fault if you keep seeing me looking over here because this is my second monitor where the chat is supposed to be because I think I'm streaming, but I am not. I apologize. But anyway, bitch, once you press the button, I don't give a fuck about what you have to say and what the fuck you want in a relationship. Eat a dick and bounce. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, yo. Red flags. What are your red flags? Mm. When I'm mad, I don't talk. I feel like that's so when you upset, you get distant. To be honest, that can be a red flag, but also, hold on. So to be honest, you don't want to. So you don't want to. So you don't want to talk when you're upset and when you're mad. You get distant. That can be a red flag, and that also could be a good thing. Cause at the end of the day, people say real fucked up shit when they mad, and people always say, "Oh, the truth comes out when you're mad." Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Cause when I'm mad and you actually pushing me to that limit, I'm going to say fucked up shit just to get you mad now. Now we're both mad. Now we're both worked up. So not necessarily saying the truth, but just things to get you tight. And I'd rather not want to disrespect my partner. So I would walk away while I'm mad. Let me cool off. We come back to it. Feel me? So that could be a red flag. It cannot be. It's up to it's up to your interpretation. Yeah, for sure. Probably they make everything into a joke. Like I just stand up. What's your best joke right now? It's very funny. 
I have a joke about uh, how collecting lovers is like collecting rocks. Like, you can never have too many. If you bring a certain number back through your apartment, like, your leasing agent is going to start looking at you kind of funny, like, damn, this bitch got a lot of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave the pity laugh. Oh my god, not the button trying to laugh. Yo, why is she just pressing so gracefully? Like, they, like usually they pink fast, like everybody trying to get each other the fuck up out of here. Like, she just. Huh, huh, nigga, you do that slow shit with me? I'm pressing that shit first. Can I ask why? What's your type? Uh, like your women, your no hard feelings. <laughs> I got a plywood board body. Nice to meet you. Oh, she like thick bitches. Oh, hold on, a thick bitch right there. Everything except for screamo. I'm more of like into like dark wave. Damn, like, y'all ain't seen me just pick my nose. Fuck y'all. It's like sexy dungeon like club music. Nah, that's way too much pier. I don't know. I don't like girls with too much piercings, too much tattoos. Obviously, it's not for me. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not attracted to that. Like, even her with this full sleeve. Oh, she got some hair right here. You see that shit? You see the little other hairs standing up? She nervous? Hold on. She getting goosebumps from this bitch? Piercings and tattoos don't hurt for me. I have my nipples. My nipples... We're not talking hurt. about that. We're talking about how can you take a neck? Can you take an eight? It hurt. It hurt after. It hurt after, after, yeah. I just recently got one of my nipple rings ripped out. Damn. And that hurt. Her earlobe dangling. <laughs> I don't know if I can yeah. ever do that. No, I have a nipple. It's oh. just like... <laughs> split in the center of Damn. Oh, they just got caught on the door and it just ripped it Let me right see. Let, let, let me see if it's really split in the middle. <laughs> Prove it. Show proof. <laughs> Show proof. Anyway. Are you two vibing with each other? I am, but I don't think it's going any further. Damn, yeah. she won us. She was like a thick white bitch with piercings. Tattoo says queen, huh? I am a queen. If you got a queen, t oh, that turned to whore. But if you got the queen tattoo, I just know you're a whore. I would literally, but you know how badly I would degrade a bitch with a queen tattoo on her chest? I would literally know that I should smear it with my. I'm also Yo, am I wilding right now? I feel like, I, I feel like I'm wilding right now because I haven't streamed in a fucking, I don't know, a year, nigga. I haven't did. Re uh, IRL reaction content. I feel like I'm just speaking my mind right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Divorced. Interesting. Yes. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Probably be like. Chat. What's the kinkiest thing you ever done? I probably like. Ain't gonna. I'm not. A, I'm a real basic nigga, bro. Nigga, I fuck. Make a cum. Make a squirt. I kiss. I don't really suck toes, but I put some toes in my mouth while I'm hitting it from the front. I mean, I don't really suck on them though. Like, I don't eat ass. I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm a real normal nigga, bro. But I get the job done. That's what matters. I eat up with rope or have handcuffs. I'm okay. I, I played with some handcuffs before. So okay. Tying people up, clamps, being on people. Bro, ew. Would you ever be into someone being on you? Definitely not. <laughs> so why the fuck would you take that long to think about it, nigga? With like, what, what I'm saying, bitch, no. <laughs> it was a special occasion. <laughs> I really like this tattoo you have. Can you tell me about that? Is it? Damn, I'm asking about your tattoos, and you just gonna get a nigga gone. That's tough. I think you're just a little too shy to like for me. Ooh, okay. she's like, I need a freaking lick. I need a freak nasty bitch. <laughs> That's what she just said. I need a freak nasty out. <laughs> Yo. Surprise once you get to know me. You shouldn't have said no to pee. Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, but the quiet girls, the shy quiet girls, they they can suck at me. Feel me? They get nasty. I can't lie. Especially the skit. Bro, come on. You gotta know. It's a no to You'd be very surprised. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. See, her, the last girl, you could tell that. Feel me a shy, quiet girl. But her, the way she looks, and then she was acting shy, I was like, nah, never mind. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But I don't know her yet, so let's see. Um, which is hilarious because I don't actually like sweets that much. No, I feel the same way. Because sometimes I like try to pawn it off to my roommates. So, so do you, st you still live with roommates then? I still live with roommates. Are you looking forward to having a place of your own? Um, 
I probably will stick with having roommates. You like, like roommates? I go a little crazy if I'm alone. But I knew she was going. We need our own space I to do freak nasty don't shit. Want to live with anybody. I don't like roommates. Okay. I feel like such a bitch. Like truly. Hi, I'm Reno. Hi, Reno. Hi, I'm Reno. They like to step on their partners. What you mean they? There's only one nigga there. Oh yeah, that's fun. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. My fault. He slashed them day. My fault. My fault. My fault. Haven't been on internet in a minute. My fault. Seem like also a kinky person. Is that a correct <laughs> read? I am. That is a big. I mean, y'all all kinky. I'm also interested in other things. What are you passionate about? I've kind of always. This nigga got on a choker. Like, Did he sell dick too? I know what they say with people with chokers. Can we hear you sing a little? Gloomy is Sunday. With shadows, I spend it all. Okay. She and I have decided to end it all. Oh, hold on. Why that sounded good, but when I had listen to the lyrics, is she sending me to hell? Anyways, she sounds like the old white bitches, the, not the old, but they old now, but you feel me? The older TV, gray and white, they used to sing on TV. She seemed like one of those. Dang. <laughs> Looks like dang. Wait, are you attracted to Sid? Button, I don't know. Attraction's okay. hard. It's okay. This nigga got a branch in his hair? <laughs> You're so fucking- Hit the button! Okay. <laughs> come here, come here. Uh, this is Lee! Hit the gas, hold on. Can they clap? Nice to meet you as well. Pause. Do you smoke weed a lot? No, okay. No. Okay. okay. Wait, hold on, these niggas gay. Do edibles. <laughs> that nigga's a pie head. He a pie head. <laughs> Hi. Good. Did she get eliminated already? This is so important to me. I'm EDM, yeah. like music. Yeah. I think it's fun to dance to. Okay, I yeah. hate it. Oh, well, okay. you like with acid yeah, and shit. So much. I mean, it's not my favorite type of music, but I can dance to it. You're but I can dance to, to it. No. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I dare you to hold hands. Oh, shit. Hold hands. Look, look, look. I tell you, hold hands is a big deal. Look how she looking right now. I can lie. Hold hands is tough. Oh, that, that's that's like taking the next. That, that you never had a look. Damn, is my mic? I mean, my camera fucking freezing. Fuck, going on? Chat, you never had a little bitch of elementary middle school. Then y'all first, then y'all hold hands on a line, walking together. Then you get the first get Feel me? Hold hands is a big step. Look at each other. Oh my God! Look at each other in the eyes and hold hands. As someone who's autistic, eye contact is hard for me. But if you need to look away, no, nigga, no, autistic. No, I'm, I'm open to trying hard things. Cool. So. Okay. Oh, you have nice hands. Clock is starting. One, two, chat. Some of y'all need to practice this shit, cause y'all, y'all eye contact. I keep saying chat. Damn, I miss streaming. Should I spark up? Should I spark up, bro? How'd that feel? Damn. Good. Very vulnerable, but nice. Very vulnerable. <laughs> My shit is free. I just caught it. I just caught it. Person with autism, but like I have. Dated a lot of people with autism, so it's really comforting to hear that. Actually. Okay. Why shouldn't someone date you two? Uh, mm. too Name some reasons why someone shouldn't date you. I can't lie. Someone shouldn't date me because, like, nigga, I do shit when I want to do it. Like, I can't. I don't like being restricted. Like, at this point in my life, like, oh, we together. We go to together. Like, we go together real bad. So we supposed to be doing shit together. But shit, I might not want to do it with you. Or, yeah, like, you might want to go to Six Flags this whole time. Me, as a romantic, I'm going to take you to Six Flags, right? But I might plan a date, a special day from when we're going to go to Six Flags. But then a group of all my homies or whatever want to go to Six Flags like in three days. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, we out. Now you looking at me like, damn, you know I want to go here, but you don't even want to take me, blah, blah, blah. And... On the outside looking in, that is fucked up. I can't lie. Like, this is just a that's just a broad example. Feel me? I do shit when I want to do it. To be honest, it's really hard when like somebody's like, "Do you like these shoes?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that thing. Somebody looking to date me should be aware of like my past and like yeah. what I've gone through. I mean, I have been in recovery for like multiple reasons and I'm Whoa, what really the, well now. You I got a big like nostril. I couldn't even, for me I wouldn't um that I was put sniffing past this thing about six months. And there are some other issues. What he said? I was in recovery for about six months. Oh he didn't say why. 
drugs and more See, I know drugs. I know it drugs. I don't know. It can be a lot for someone to handle. I, I mean, congratulations. Yeah, facts. You're definitely strong for coming through that. But you know, everybody deals with shit, bro. So if you if you really run into somebody that you like and they're super judgmental, just cut them off, bro. Because we're all human. We all go through shit. You gotta get somebody that accepts you. Oh my god, she gets me. She gets me, bro. She gets me, bro. Yo, god damn, god damn. Haven't been in the gym in a couple weeks. But yo, I feel like I really have an eating disorder, like bro. I have an eating disorder, like like. All right, let me break it down to you. Say you get an order of chicken wings. Say it's four chicken wings. You get rice or you get fries, whatever the fuck you get, right? Let's just say you get fried rice, chicken wings and fried rice, right? If my order only comes with chicken wings, no rice, I'm gonna fuck them chicken wings up. But you know you're still kind of hungry because you didn't get the full meal. But four chicken wings is still a lot of food that can hold people down. Me, I'm still going to be hungry. So now let's say, oh, I called them up, like, blah, 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 where's my rice? But instead of just giving me rice, they give me a whole thing of chicken wings and rice. I'm going to eat the extra four pieces of wings and rice because to, in my mind, in my belly connection, nigga, I didn't eat at all because I didn't have the full meal. So now I just ate eight wings and rice. I'm fat as fuck, bro. Like, and I just can't, I, I don't know why I can't do it. Like, and that's why I try to stay away from snacks. But I have so much fucking snacks. And snacks don't put anything, like, a snack, you know how a snack will hold you down to the dinner. Done, like, nigga, a snack literally does nothing for me. And I don't know why the fuck I eat them. I don't eat them a lot, but I eat them enough. And I shouldn't eat them at all because they do absolutely nothing for me. I'm not even a snack nigga. Like, oh, I love Doritos. Oh, I love candy. I don't even like that shit. But, yeah. You know, gotta work on my self discipline. I don't I wouldn't call that an eating disorder, I just gotta work on discipline type shit. But yeah, I just had to share that. I know niggas like why this fat nigga just went on a fat nigga tangent, but fuck you. So that's not something that is like scary to me. Okay. Yeah, it's really good to Describe the energy you both are feeling right now. I mean I'm Calm. Really nervous. Oh but I feel like I'm able to be open with you and that you won't be too freaked out but but you didn't really say anything, so they could be freaked out. I mean, you just say drugs. Me too. Me too. Y'all pussy. If you don't press me, I'm gonna consider it a match. There she goes. Shout out to the cute couple. Hope one day I find my main squeeze, man. Tell me blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental. 